History Network is a digital museum of over 45,000 objects that offers visitors to the site a rich and diverse story of the history and cultural heritage of the state of Maine. The network was created in 2001 by the Maine Historical Society, which is based in Portland. The purpose was to bring together cultural heritage groups beyond the Portland area to have a forum where they could contribute to Maine's historical and cultural record and to provide broader access to that record beyond Southern Maine. The network consists of over 270 partners, which includes historical societies, museums, libraries, and archives, as well as other organizations. Partners select items that they'd like to share from their collections, which could be any type type of primary resource such as historical documents, photographs, videos, artifacts. The contributing partner is also responsible for digitizing the items and creating metadata. The Maine Historical Society provides lots of guidelines and training and assistance for this. Along with sharing images, partners can use the network to create exhibits and build their own websites using a tool called Site Builder. They can use their own items for these projects, but also draw on others in the exhibit that are in the library, excuse me. Several years ago, the network welcomed individuals as contributing partners as well. One way people can contribute to the library is through this feature, which is called My Main Stories. People contribute their own stories and memories of Maine, either in a video, text, or photographs. Some of these are reflections on the past, but also stories of things that are happening in Maine today. Here are some of the overall themes of stories you can find. Uh, here's an example of a couple of women who've contributed their experiences in the Women's March in 2017. Digitized images that are shared by the contributing partners are the foundation of main memory. Users can browse through items or search by topic, uh, contributor, or by town. I'm going to search for Wabanaki, who are the first people of Maine. And the search results page shows that I can look at 224 historical items about the Wabanaki. And I'm gonna quick click on the first one, which is an egg basket, uh, just to give you an idea of a typical record, which includes a description um, and then the metadata. Um, the main memory network uses Dublin Core for its metadata. There are also um, standardized subject headings and other keywords that you can, that link to other items, Native Americans, for example. Um, I find there are 518 items um, to look at. So let me go back to this record. You can also get information on the contributor and a link to their website. If I choose to, I can also add this image to an album in my account, which is a really great feature. Uh, for a library this large. Anybody can set up an account, even if you don't live in the state of Maine, and images are saved in albums. And here you see the album that I've started. I'm going to go back to my search to show how in addition to the 224 individual items, the results show that the Wabanaki is featured in 11 exhibits, 25 websites, and 13 main stories. I'll show you an example of an exhibit. This one's called Holding Up the Sky, which includes text and images um, with thumbnails you can click on to go to the records for those images.
websites. I'm going to click on this one for Mount Desert Island, which uses that same image in a website that was built through the main memory network. My main stories. And there's an example of a story by a woman who is carrying on the basket weaving traditions of her ancestors today. And this is a good example of the way the library can connect cultural heritage of the past with what's going on now. Component of the main memory network I'd like to talk about is called Main History Online. And this is a series of essays that provides contextual information for the images in the library. The essays are organized by theme and by time period. So for instance, I could go to the People of Dawn to find out background information on the Wabanaki. And also there'll be thumbnails of images that I can click on to. But I have to say my favorite thing about this digital library is the emphasis that uh, the network places on education. And part of that is in supporting the uh, what goes on in the classroom by providing access to so many primary resources related to Maine's cultural heritage and also enabling students and teachers to use those resources to create and share their own exhibits and collections. The Maine Historical Society has created a curriculum for schools um, and will also provide training and help with schools that want to design their own. And the other part of this is takes place in the community uh, where they involve students in the development of the library itself by encouraging them to go out into the community and assist partners in, in contributing to the library. They recognize that students have technical skills that they can put to use and share with others, not so technologically inclined maybe. And also um, due to initiatives in the state, many schools have more up-to-date equipment than a typical small town historical society or museum. The projects that students help with range from digitization to helping organizations with exhibits or developing their own community websites. I'm going to show you an example of how they identify when students have worked on a project. They'll show they'll have this little um, school bus icon to to show that the um, image was brought to the network through the efforts of a student at this particular school. There are other aspects to main memory, but I've tried to cover the ones I would find most interesting and useful as a user and a contributor. The network seems like a very ambitious project, and I'm not sure if all the parts function as smoothly as they might. But the way main memory seeks to involve people in uh, this way helps to make this more of a living, breathing library, a real community effort, not just um, an online version of what you'd find in a museum or a historical society. What impresses me isn't just the number and the quality of the items, but the in the breadth of the topics, but the ways in which the Maine Historical Society is using the library to engage the people of Maine in their own history and cultural heritage. They provide a platform for other smaller institutions to use their resources to build their own exhibits and websites and encourage students to participate in the ongoing development of the library.